Hi, I'm Franco Rotoli from the SOLIDWORKS training team. This is the first video in a series titled The Beginner's Guide to X Design. I'm going to be walking you through a brief tutorial where I create a phone holder. The first component is a representation of a phone. I will create the assembly with this phone in mind. Each video in this playlist will cover a different component and increase in complexity. Let's jump into X Design and get started. For the phone representation, I'll be modeling a phone that's bigger than most phones on the market, so the holder will fit many different models. For this series, I'll assume you already have a 3D Experience account and know how to navigate and save to the platform. Once I start the X-Design app, I'll click New Component to get started. I'll choose a name for the component and a collaborative space to store it. I could also create a bookmark for quick access later on. This is the user interface of X-Design. There is a design manager on the left. This is where the three basic planes reside and where all of our features will go once we create them. Think of this as the timeline of the model. We'll revisit this area in a little bit. At the bottom of the screen, we have the action bar. This has tabs across the top with different tools used during the design process. On the view tab, there's a view filters button where we can hide and show planes, axes, sketches, and more. I'll choose to show the three standard planes for now. To start my phone design, I'll sketch on the YZ, or front plane. I'll select it, and a pop-up comes up with some different tools. The one with the grid and blue lines will start a new sketch on the plane. X-Design automatically changes the view to look straight at the selected plane. Now I'm in sketch mode. On the sketch tab of the action bar, there are many different sketch tools. Since the phone is basically a rectangle, I'm going to start with that. By clicking the triangle at the bottom of the button, we can see that there are five different ways this tool can sketch a rectangle. Good practice is to keep your model centered over the planes when possible, so I'll choose Center Rectangle. Notice my cursor changes to a rectangle, telling me what tool I have just chosen. The two white dots at the center and corner tell me the click locations the tool requires. In the middle of my screen, there are some red arrows. This is the origin, basically 0, 0, 0 in 3D space. I like to start there. I'll click the center and one of the outside points. Now I have to size the rectangle. Also on the sketch toolbar, there's a dimension tool. With this tool, I can click lines, arcs, points, or more to constrain my model. Notice as I add dimensions, the lines turn from blue to black. Blue means under constrained and black means fully constrained. With my rectangle the correct size, the next step is to make this into a 3D solid. On the Features toolbar, this is the Extrude tool. We can use it to either add material or remove material with a cut. Since I was already in sketch mode, X-Design automatically adds the sketch to the Profiles box. The Direction 1 dropdown has some options as to how the solid will come off the sketch. As I mentioned before, I like to keep things centered, so I'll choose mid-plane. This will take the distance and split it halfway on either side of the sketch. Clicking the green checkbox completes the command. Looking back at the design manager, we see that both the sketch and extrude feature are there, in order. I'll hide the planes from the view filter to clean up the graphics area a little bit. I'm going to zoom in to one of the corners so I can add a fillet. To zoom, I'm scrolling the mouse wheel towards me. To zoom out, scroll the wheel away. X-Design will zoom towards your mouse when you zoom in, so be aware of where your cursor is. Now I want to add the fillet. The Features toolbar has a fillet command, but it's quicker just to select an edge and choose the command from the pop-up. You'll also notice this icon come up during various selection scenarios. This is the Design Assistant. This time, it suggested the three other corners, saving me some clicks. I'll click the green check to accept the suggestions, size the fillet, and complete the command. I'll add a couple more fillets for aesthetics around the front and back edges. The tangent propagation checkbox will allow the fillet to follow the edge all the way around because of my previous fillets. To rotate the model, I hold the middle mouse button down and move my mouse. While we're on this topic, I want to show you where some other view manipulation tools live. 
If I click the flyout next to the triad, you have some options like zoom, normal to, and trimetric view. When I click the push pin, it keeps this menu visible. Next, I want to add the button representations, so I know to stay clear of them. Again, these will be bigger than normal to give me clearance for many different phones. You can start a sketch on any flat face. It doesn't have to be a plane. So I'll select this side face and choose the new sketch icon to start a sketch here. You can see it projects the origin and grid to that face. To change the view back to looking straight onto my sketch, I'll click the normal two icon. For the button geometry, I'll sketch using the slot tool. This requires three clicks, one at each end and one to define the slot width. If I pause right here, notice the blue inference line coming from the origin. This is telling me that when I drop the first point, XDesign will add a relation between the origin and that point, locating it so that it can't move left or right. I'll finish sketching the slot and dimension it. Notice when I select an arc, it dimensions to the center of the arc. Also, to pan the view, hold down the control and middle mouse button. Finally, I'll locate the slot 30 millimeters from the top of the phone. I'll extrude this with a blind end condition one millimeter out from the face and add a one millimeter fillet around the outside. Now, I want to do the same thing on the other side for phones that have buttons on both sides. I could sketch, extrude, and fill it again, or since I was careful in my first sketch and kept a plane running through the middle, I can use the mirror command to save time. I'll show the planes again from the view menu, and on the features toolbar, click the mirror command. I'll select the plane which I want to mirror about and choose extrude two and fill it three from the design manager. Lastly, I want to add a cutout that represents the charging port. I'll sketch a slot again, this time choosing midpoint centerline slot. This will allow me to keep the slot centered and start from the origin. I'll dimension this and this time switch to extrude cut. making it five millimeters deep. I'll save the model to the platform and we're all done with our phone representation. And finally, this button closes the model and brings us back to the XDesign main screen. Thanks for watching. In my next video, I'll start creating the first part in the phone holder. For more great content, click the link in the description below to access additional tips, tricks, and training courses. And as always, happy modeling.